Hello dear space lovers welcome to the explorers today let's talk about the spadex technology recently isro has been working on the spadex so let's see what is spadex spadex technology means space docking experiment i think most of you guys are confused about the term space docking so let me clarify for you so what is this space docking docking is the process of connecting two free flying spacecrafts in space either to transfer people or cargo from one spacecraft to another it also can be two free flying spacecrafts join each other to make a single bigger object the best example of docking is the cargo spaceship connecting to international space station for material transfer isro is set to undertake the spadex mission where a satellite will be launched with a unique capability to separate into two distinct pieces in space these two components refer to as the chaser and target they will subsequently assemble and dock together effectively combining to create a unified satellite this pioneering technology involving the separation and reunification of satellite components marks a novel advancement in india space exploration endeavors so now let's try to understand the mechanism so how does the chaser satellite docks with the target satellite The Chaser satellite will be equipped with the cameras and sensors that will allow it to track this target satellite. Once the target satellite is in the range, the Chaser will dock it with using a robotic arm. The two satellites will then be joined together by docking mechanism. Once the two satellites are docked, they will become a single functional satellite. This split up and united technology has the potential to revolutionize the way satellites are launched and operated. In the past satellites have been launched as single monolith units this has made them difficult and expensive to repair or upgrade the split up and united technology satellites can be launched in small pieces which are easier and cheaper to repair and transport if a satellite needs to be repaired or upgraded only affected pieces need to be replaced this can save significant amount of time and energy So ISRO is hoping that the split up and united technology will pave the way for new and innovative satellite applications. For example, this technique can be used to create constellations of satellites that can work together to provide better coverage and performance. It could be also used to create satellites that can be customized for specific missions. The launch of the split up and united satellite is a major milestone for ISRO. It's a sign that the organization is at the forefront of space technology. The success of this mission could have significant impact on the future of satellite development of ISRO. So, why ISRO wants to test this technology? What is ISRO expecting from this? So, now let's see the objectives of this SpaceX mission. To demonstrate autonomous assembling and docking of two spacecrafts in low earth orbit. to develop and validate technologies for the formation of flying of two spacecrafts to demonstrate the remote robotic arm operations to develop and validate technologies for controlling one spacecraft with the altitude controlling system of another spacecraft so spadex will be the milestone in creation of india space station that is bharatiya antariksha station china has already created its own space station called tiangong So where do ISRO wants to use this technology Now let's see applications of the SpaceX SpaceX for the Bharatiya Antariksha station So ISRO intends to conduct a space test of the technology during the SpaceX mission scheduled for 2024 This technology serves as the initial building block for the Indian space station also referred it to as Bharatiya station The first module of this station is planned for launch in 2028 utilizing the LVM3 rocket Every space station is constructed through the assembly of smaller units that are docked to form the larger structure. A process observed in the construction of ISS. With the application of this technology, ISRO aims to finalize the construction of the Bharatiya Antariksha station by the year 2035. This involves integrating all the modules dispatched by ISRO from the Earth between 2028 to 2035. Additionally the utilization of this technology enables the potential for further extensions of the space station in the future. SpaceX for Gaganyaan 2 and NASA's Artemis mission. Gaganyaan 1 is an ISRO mission aimed at sending 3 Indian astronauts into space, placing them in an orbit 400 kilometers above Earth for a duration of 3 to 7 days. 
So the Gaganyaan 2 is planned to send Indian astronauts to the Bharatiya Antariksha Space Station after its expected completion in 2035. The mission also includes the ambitious goal of landing humans on Moon in collaboration with NASA's Artemis Moon Base, with a targeted timeline for docking spacecraft with both the Indian Space Station and the Artemis Moon Base. After seeing the two major applications of SpaceX, now let's see the other applications of the SpaceX. Through these experiments, ISRO will be able to do many kind of tasks. ISRO will be able to transfer humans from one spaceship to another spaceship in space. Refueling of a spaceship in space, just like air to air refueling of a jet. Crucial cargo can be shifted from one spaceship to another spaceship in space. ISRO will be able to replace a part of an existing satellite in orbit. Now let's try to decode the budget of the SpaceX. The budget for the SpaceX mission is 124.47 crores. This budget covers the cost of developing and launching the two spacecrafts as well as the ground support and operations. The budget for SpaceX mission was approved by the Government of India in July 2022. The mission is scheduled to launch in third quarter of 2024. Now let's break the budget of SpaceX. Spacecraft development 68.47 crores, launch vehicle 30 crores, ground support and operations 26 crores. So it's the end of our video, it completes the topic SpaceX. I hope you would love this video and thanks for watching.